recruiting episode 3 of Let's Play, or I guess not, okay, every time I say Let's Play, it's not really Let's Play, uh, I guess it pretty much is, oh well, same shit, just a playthrough Let's Play, whatever the fuck you wanna call it, okay, so, I've been finding that my past videos, the volume's been a bit, the game volume has been a bit on the louder side, so this time I'm going to try turning down the volume a little bit, and uh, I think that should work out a lot better. The volume, game volume was pretty high before. Okay. So Chris finally got his first episode up, which is good, getting our series going. Oh. Are you kidding me? Oh, I'm just gonna switch out. This flying type's gonna destroy my Bulbasaur. Oh well, my Bulbasaur's high enough for the level. Yep. That's what I thought. I should level up my Pidgey and it should learn Gust. There we go. That's gonna be so helpful. Oh, I don't wanna change Pokemon. I'm gonna do... Ah, oh, stop using dust. Critical hit. with your fine types there, that actually got me decently good. I think I'm gonna go back and heal. I like in the newer games how you can sprint in buildings, so it makes speeds up the process a lot. Also what I liked about Heart Bowl was that you could put on the thing so you don't have to hold any buttons to sprint, you gotta sprint all the time. Because really, who wants to be walking around? Nobody, that's you. Okay, so there's a bug catcher up here, so... Make sure my Pidgey's in the front. Yep. So, my Pidgey should be able to take out this guy's entire team. No problem. I noticed Chris was saying that, uh... Didn't like how I sped up a lot of the battles, so... Um, I guess last episode I did do quite a bit of, quite a bit of speeding up for the battles, so I'll try to keep that to the minimal. We just have dumb cocoon as a metapod face. Tank it out. Weedle. So last night, me and Chris came up with plans for future series. There's definitely going to be a lot of Pokemon playing. I can tell you that much. I kind of actually want to catch another Pokemon. Maybe I should go catch a, a Caterpie. Because, uh, yeah, I, I'd probably go catch a Caterpie. i like a, a really psychic Pokemon to get the Butterfree. I have to say, of all the different types of Pokemon, uh, psychic type is by far my favorite. Uh, actually, I could take on this dude right here too. Might as well. Let's do this. I 
Rattata. Let's go, Pidgey. Shit. Well, I guess I do more damage than he does. Oh, fuck, I didn't mean to do Gust again. Oh, shit. That's close. Close call. Go Bulbasaur! You got this shit, Bulbasaur. Ah, tackle. Oh, that is shit all that. Line whip. Not very effective. I didn't realize none of my attacks did very much damage. That sucks. Oh, sweet. Perfect timing for a critical hit. His times like those, and I love critical hits. It's a battle just gonna take for fucking ever. Critical hit. Well, I almost leveled up. Okay, I'm gonna run back to the Pokemon Center. I think before I head back there, I'll go catch a Caterpie quickly. I don't know if I can catch him in the path over there, so I'll head back into Viridian Forest. Okay. Watch, he'll be Metapod. Ooh, that actually is a Caterpie. Sweet. I think my guys are probably too high of a level to try and catch one of these now, though. Don't kill him. Oh, okay, that was just a critical hit. Hopefully, tackle one. Hit KO them all the time. Weedle. Oh, no, it's a Metapod. Oh, I'm just trying to call which one's there. There we go, there's some, some good experience right there. Pidgey, you level 12. I'm trying to remember if Pidgey evolves at level 16 or 18. Level 5. Okay, sweet. Let's catch this thing. Come on. Sweet. Gotta be this caught. It short feeder tipped with suction pads that enable it to tirelessly climb slopes and walls. No nicknames. Okay, go heal up my Caterpie that I probably won't be using anyway, so. It doesn't matter that much. Okay, now let's head back over here. Okay, so it's another bug catcher. I'll send my caterpie out anyway. Have it start at the front of the party. Okay. And then I'll switch out to my Pidgey right away. Weedle! Yeah, because my Caterpie won't be able to take this guy on. Oh, 
do VG. One hit KO? Yeah. Again. I was gonna tank it out with the Caterpie, but that would just take forever. Well, I guess I could have sent my Caterpie and just sped it up. Oh well, too late now. Super effective. Caterpie grew to level 6. I think it's level 7 that Caterpie evolves to Metapod. And at level 10... Oh, shit. Level 10 it evolves to Butterfree. And I think at level 10 it gets Confusion. Which is a very valuable attack. Oh fuck, wrong attack. Oh fuck off. <laughs> Chris is uh let's play the PG version of mine, he isn't swearing as his very good experience. I'll we'll switch out to Caterpie again. process, but oh well. Oh, shit. Go Pidgey. why it takes forever to kill these things is because they keep on using hard and good experience though. Caterpie grew to level 7, so my Caterpie should evolve right now. <gasps> what? Caterpie's evolving? What could it be? What is it gonna turn into? I don't know. A metapod! My Caterpie evolved into a metapod. And it learned Harden. Sweet. Um, I guess I do one more battle. That'll go fast. <laughs> I don't have much time left. If not, I can just make a part two to this episode. Oh, I forgot Rattata has extremely high speed. The only thing Rattata's and Raticates are really good for is their high base speed. Other than that, they're pretty much useless. <laughs> I uh, guess Hyper Fang's a good low level attack. Consider oh, we're level 18, yeah, that's a pretty good move. Oh shit, I don't want poison powder. Sleep powder's the one I want. You know what? Yeah, let's make a part two, so if you want to finish the episode, then stay tuned for part two. See you guys.